Today is an extremely disappointing day for we in the Terra Luna Classic community, and I'm gonna talk about a lot of the stupid drama that's going on and a lot of the other important things in regards to development that aren't going according to plan. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we have to talk about this stuff, and we have to find solutions to these problems. Let's start with this. Mr. Diamond Hands recently was asking Tobias Anderson, or Zeradar, some questions about the proposal that was pushed forward for the L1 Task Force Quarter 2 budget. And with that, Tobias Anderson actually decided to go ahead and block Mr. Diamond Hands, which obviously I very strongly disagree with, and I am very disappointed in Zardar for handling things this way and not being able to answer questions. Now, since this, Zardar has gone on to Twitter and posted, Tobias Anderson said, People seem to have a misunderstanding, that I will entertain renegotiating of the quarter two budget. That will not happen, either it passes in its entirety or investors can find someone else to do my work. Once again, extremely disappointing. He's essentially leveraging the quarter two budget and not allowing people to negotiate with it, which is, I think, something that goes against everything that we stand for decentralization. If we're unhappy with something or if we have questions we should be able to ask. And the fact that Zardar is saying it's either my way or the highway, I think, is very telling, and it's extremely disappointing. I think perhaps Zardar and his ego has gone to his head. And I will tell you guys, we don't absolutely need this guy in the community, but for some reason, he thinks that he's some kind of irreplaceable person. But I have news. He shipped out the last quarter one upgrades incorrectly, and guess who had to fix it? Right. Guess who had to fix that? Jared from TFL. The Terraform Labs team who used to work on Terra Luna Classic had to fix the mistakes of these guys for free. And we are paying these guys to ship out code. That is not correct. Okay, so the fact that he's trying to leverage him and his work over, like, this whole quarter two situation, I think is honestly just deplorable. Zardar is blessed to have us as a community who continues to pay him even despite the fact that he has shipped bad code. And that's the truth. Zardar, if you're watching this and that upsets you, you can block me, too. I frankly do not care. Your ego has gotten to your head at this point. Pretty much everybody agrees with me in the community. I mean, obviously there's going to be a couple of outliers here and there, but everyone's like, man, why are you doing this? Like, your emotional intelligence must be really low. Like this question, all I can say is you may have the skill but lack the emotional intelligence to handle the situation. Spending too much time on social media and letting your emotional rule doesn't go well. And you can tell this is very emotionally pressed statement right here. And many other people are just like, why are you doing doing things this way? It's honestly just extremely disappointing. That's my statement on this. But there's some other things going on as well. Now there are other people in the Terra Luna Classic community that are trying to essentially siphon funds from us to build side chains which they claim are in the best interest of the community. And I can tell you guys right now that that is definitely not the case. I'm gonna name some names. Edward Kim wants to create a side chain that is a high powered that's absolutely amazing. But he wants to use Terra Luna Classic Community Pool funds in order to start that project, which I disagree with. And Duncan, instead of doing his Ziggy proposal like he originally was gonna do for the Terra Luna Classic Community, he has instead decided to build yet again another side chain with his little stablecoin that he's wanting to work on. And once again, he's wanting to use the Terra Luna Classic funds to do that. Essentially what these people are telling us is that they are giving up on Terra Luna Classic. And instead of trying to overcome the challenges that they've been facing, they instead want to build a side chain and have a fresh start. And they want to use our funds and our community pool that we need for our development in order to do that. So honestly, yeah, I'm very disappointed in all of these people because they're taking the political route, and they're trying to position it in a way that sounds much better than it actually is. They're essentially just not. They're essentially trying to use the community in Tara Luna Classic. Let's be honest, that's what it is. They're trying to use the Terra Luna Classic community for the funds that remain in the community pool so they can do what they believe is a better use for it. But I can promise you guys what they are doing is not truly in the best interest of the Terra Luna Classic community. And I'm gonna stop pretending like it is because I am fed up with these people who are entitled and believe that they know better than everyone else who is here, who are trying to essentially steal from us, the people in the Terra Luna Classic community. And I'm not gonna stand for that anymore. Whether it's Zardar, whether it's Edward Kim, whether it's Duncan, any of these guys. I do not support what they are going for here. And I'm making that very clear today. 
Now, I do want to make something very clear. If the L1 team wants to go ahead and refine their proposal, like Terra C. Vita was saying here, I will maybe vote in favor of that. But in their current state of their proposal, I'm not gonna vote in favor of it, especially with the way that Zardar has been talking lately. Because obviously anyone who has that level of ego, who thinks it's like my way or the highway and is not willing to engage in public debate, and is just going to block people that way. It is not someone who is working in the best interest of the community anymore, right? It's like that Emperor Syndrome. It's a Napoleon Syndrome. We don't want a Napoleon going ahead and operating and being a spearhead of our blockchain. That's frankly not what I stand for. So yeah, in the current state of the proposal, I'm voting no. That's just clear cut. I'm voting no for this because the Q2 spend proposal, one, it's too vague. Two, they're not willing to negotiate and talk about the terms. And three, well, we have very egotistical people that of course are just causing a bunch of drama in the community. So no, if they want to refine it, though, and they are more willing to talk to the community, different story. I think that at that point, okay, yeah, that's completely fine. We can talk about it then, but for now, it's a no for me. Overall, I got to say it's a very disappointing day for me. I thought Zardar was better than this. I thought that they would be more open to communication and doing what we did normally, which is just discuss amongst the community and make changes where we need to make changes. I thought that would be what we were gonna do here. But obviously things have changed a bit and that's not what they're wanting to do. So that's the way that it is. Either way, we're going to continue pressing forward. Terra Luna Classic is going to continue doing what it does best, and we're going to continue trying to develop and make great changes for the future of Terra Luna Classic. Not for these side chains that are just trying to siphon funds from our blockchain. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.